Uh, g'day guys, Sam from GCI Tradetech here. Uh, Mitchell from GCI Tradetech. And today we have a Ram 1500 DS build, uh, tray and canopy with a uh, fit out. So starting off we have an 1800 long tray. Um, at the front we have our integrated fillers, sideboard latches. We also have our integrated uh, tie down rails as standard. Um, with all of our models, uh, all canopies are lift off so that you can still use the tray as intended with the vehicle uh, if they're going to the tip or any of that sort of stuff. So yeah, all trays come off. Right, so starting from the front, we have our 60 litre headboard tank, uh, 62 litre under tray tank. Um, for this vehicle, uh, it has standard guards, uh, two toolboxes at the rear. Now all of our toolboxes come with LED lights and central locking as standard. Uh, plenty of storage space in here and very handy with the drawer to slide in and out. This customer opted for uh, short sideboards so that he could still use um, storage in the rear when he had the canopy on. Um, so that's an option that we have. Uh, going around to the rear, we have a Seaflow water pump connected up to our water outlet at the rear. Uh, our standard light buckets fitted with reverse sensor and camera relocation kit. Um, and then in the center, we have our tunnel drawer fitted with stainless steel bench. And as you can see, plenty of storage in here and the stainless steel bench doubles as a workspace. Good for cooktops or any sort of prep you want to do there. Now, Sam is showing you the tray aspects of this build. Let me give you a little look in the inside of the canopy. Now here we got a Explorer package. So it's kind of like the Tour package, but just a little less on the inverter side and it doesn't have AC charge. So solely just relying on the DC charge and solar charge. You've got your 1000 watt inverter. So that's, that's still good for your, your microwave, um, laptop chargers, drone chargers, that simple type of stuff. So not as a massive capacity as the 2000, but we'll still get the job done. Um, instead of the Cymarine, you've got your ePro Plus. Um, it's still monitors, your battery charge, uh, all stuff like that. So your, your charge coming in, charge going out, that type of stuff. So the important things. Um, customer's got obviously his water pump on the tray. So uh, we've given a water pump switch. Uh, so like always, we've got two water pump switches, one on the headboard and one on the power package just to complete that circuit. Whether you take your canopy on and off. So just that little additional switch completes that circuit little blank switch obviously he's not got four appliances but we give him four switches so anything in the future uh, kind of like a pie oven or anything like that he wants to hardwire he's more than welcome to do that with that little blank switch there and then next to that you just got your lights and your fridge switch obviously your fridge switch for your, your 130 litre bushman on the other side and your light switch just for your lights up here um, if we chuck that load on so that's the power package up and running You've got your lights, so you've got your amber and your bright white. You can have both of them on for a nice little warm white. And then you've just got your little dimmer switch up there. It helps dim those lights. Just if the nighttime you park up at camp and you find it's a little too bright, uh, you can just dim that down. A bit easier on the eyes. Uh, under that power package, you've got a nice, decent draw space there. Uh, perfect for all your camp essentials and that. Uh, so yeah, just heaps of stuff so you can have your cooker in there and that uh, nice and tucked away and then even underneath it you have a nice little prep bench so if you pull your cooker out chuck it up there and done so got your little chopping block on there as well yeah, slide that way nice little stainless finish and four just gives it a nice little touch um, just above here we got a little convenient roof storage um, so you can pack stuff away uh, pack stuff up here, use your little tie down rails, but then you can even chuck stuff up here just a little loose things and then you can bungee strap that so it's all nice and secure and tight. Um, but yeah, nice and simple, false floor, just massive cavity in there. Uh, yeah, so nothing too complicated, nice and simple. Now, on the rear of this canopy, uh, we got just a very uh, clean and simple but utilizable setup. We've got the spare wheel holder and the petrol jerry can holder or diesel jerry can holder whatever you wish. Um, you've got little convenient little tie points as well, so you can secure your jerry can, saves it from rattling around. It's a nice little bungee cord through there, and you're golden. Um, up above it, uh, the customer wants a roof rack, 300 mil extended off the canopy, so you've got these little canopy wings off there, gives you a bigger platform, 
and so you can utilize a bit more space up there. Now on the other side, this is where the fridge lives, so 130 litre Bushman, heaps of space in there, so uh, plenty of storage for food, drinks, bevies, a lot. Next to your fridge you've got uh, your standard 10 amp tw uh, 240 volt GPOs, so any of your, uh, your cooktop appliances, like I said, your microwave, uh, laptop chargers, that'd be perfect for that. Um, and then just underneath it you've got your little 12 volt supply, so um, just 2.4 amp little charger, so perfect for your phones and stuff like that. And then just a 12 volt six socket next to it. So very convenient, very helpful. If you want to check out any other builds like this, uh, head to our Instagram, Facebook, and especially our YouTube. We've been posting heaps of content on there, keeping you guys up, updated all the time. Uh, we've got heaps of stuff coming out. And if you want to inquire about your own training canopy, hit up on a website. We've got inquiry forms, galleries, uh, and then, yeah, just our contact information. If you want to even give us a call, we'd love to chat. And, uh, yeah, get your build in. So keep checking us out on all those socials, and we'll see you next time.